I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today, I'm going to be giving you a list of modern style icons. All right. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. By doing that, these videos will come right to you. If you like this, if you find it useful, I would appreciate it if you would like it down below. And if you want to learn more about men's style, I've got a great free 47-page ebook on men's style you should check out. And if you want more, right down there with that is my 600-page premium ebook with 400 pictures. What else do we got? Uh, it's got 14 hours of audio, continuously updated. It's awesome. It's not free, but it's awesome nonetheless. Okay. This is the question that came in. Antonio, first off, thank you for your website. Your articles and videos have given me the insight and advice I had always been seeking on classic men's style that I could never figure out. Well, you're welcome, Derek. I do have a question for you, however. I think lots of men take their style from the most immediate male role model in their life, their dad. This is why I totally agree with your videos, as my father was a high-level manager and an executive in the baking industry for most of his life and always a sharp dresser. Ever since I was young, I had wanted to dress like him, and now I do, thanks in no small part to you as well. Even though some men's style can be classic, my father dressed for the times as well. Are there any good modern examples of men's style you could point me to? All right, Derek. Well, he asks a very good question because oftentimes I see a lot of these blogs and websites and other places, books, they, talk, they point to people of the past who, well, they're dead and they don't, it, it's hard for young men to find that these guys apply to them or even men who are middle-aged or, or a bit older. It's like they want somebody modern to look to. And it's also hard to look to actors. We look at people like Brad Pitt, uh, Justin Timberlake, uh, what, what's his name, Ryan, uh, Ah, can't remember, G G Gosling or something. In any case, all these men are actors. So when, when I think that, it's like they are acting. They're not real. And you don't know if they're dressing themselves or it's a stylist. So I like to look who I consider to be modern men's style icons or a lot of the bloggers out there that are putting themselves out there and saying, hey, this is me, this is how I dress. And you either like it or you don't. And they get, I, I know how it is for these guys because they get a lot of people that do send them negative comments. Most of the comments are positive, but I know that anybody that puts themselves out there on the internet is going to get some anonymous hate and get a lot of, you know, a lot of love, but that hate is really hard to take and something no one likes to be rejected. So for that, I give these guys respect. And I'm just going to give you a list. I'm going to break it up into three categories. First are the people that are out there Putting themselves out there are pretty easy to get a hold of if you know how to reach out to people and they've got uh, websites dedicated to their own style. So without further ado, um, and I'm doing this in sort of alphabetical order. So let's talk about Baron over at the Effortless Gen. If you haven't checked him out, I linked to him in my, and all these guys, by the way, are linked to in my resource pages. I'll link to that down below and I'll try to put their Twitter handles as well down below so you can connect with them on Twitter or um, if they got, I'll put their Twitter and their websites uh, down below. But uh, Baron over at the Effortless Gen. Now, why I love Baron? Baron's out in San Francisco and his background is really unique. He doesn't advertise this, but I really respect the fact that he was a bit bigger as a young man and he lost a lot of weight and now he, he really is tearing it up out there in San Francisco. He blogs over at the Effortless Gen and his idea is let's make it easy for young men to dress sharp. So he focuses on the young man. So if you're from, I would say 16 to, I, I would say maybe 32, 33, He's a great person to look for. Even if you're a little bit older, you could definitely check him out. So Chris over at Off The Cuff. Chris is for the man, I would say, that's in his mid-20s to up to his 50s, and he's over in Washington, D.C., and Chris focuses on Capitol Hill, Hill and style. I know there's not a whole lot of style in D.C., but Chris is the cutting-edge guy. He doesn't put himself out there so much, but he does talk quite a bit about style, and there are pictures, and he, he's starting to be a little bit more outgoing with his own photos. Dan, over at the Style Blogger. This has got to be one of the most stylish guys out there. He's in New York City. He was voted one of Esquire's, actually voted Esquire's best dressed man. So he's, you know, and he's a little bit more fashion forward than you're going to see. And he is probably one of the leaders. And again, that's the Style Blogger. Dan, you definitely need to check Dan out. He's Canadian. Uh, he went to Columbia. There's a lot about him, I think, that's really cool. He's a bit taller. Uh, so Derek, I know you 
you're, you're taller, so this would probably be a great person to look to. And his advice, yeah, it's top notch. Jesse over at Put This On. He's out in San Francisco. You notice how a lot of these guys are kind of in these, these big city areas. There's not too many of us small, small town guys out there. But uh, no, Jesse over at Put This On is awesome. He puts out videos. He runs the, the blog or it's a uh, Tumblr. Put This On. He's also over on Twitter. He I think he, he podcasts over at Young America. I mean, the guy's all over the place. And his is more, I think, uh, of a classic style. He goes into thrift stores quite a bit. He just did a great video with the guys over at Street Etiquette. And that's uh, Travis and Josh over at Street Etiquette. They're in New York. Uh, they're pushing it pretty hard. Now, these gentlemen are of African-American descent. So if you've got darker, darker colors, these are going to be two gentlemen you really want to follow because they can work with a lot of the colors and they really do a great job of bringing in uh, certain types of, of ethnic uh, styles. Uh, then we've got Grant over at Image Granted. Washington, D.C., if you've followed me, you know Grant's a good friend. We've worked together on a number of things. He's more classic style. So while the guys over at Street Etiquette are more street style, Grant is going to be more classic. And he knows a lot of these guys all know each other. So he he's, stays in touch with Chris Hogan over at uh, Off the Cuff. But he's a little bit, I would say, edgier than Chris. And uh, what else about Grant? Uh, Grant's easy to get a hold of in terms of you can always reach out to him on Twitter and I highly recommend reaching out to Grant if you've got questions. Uh, we, we've got Sabir over at uh, Men's Style Pro. He's in Philadelphia and I really like Sabir. He's he's young. He's about uh, I think 24 or 25. He's a former uh, track, so, track guy and he, he's not a big person. So if you are looking for you know stuff that's going to fit a more I, I would say uh, trim body type Sabir is a man you need to be following. Very classic lines. He does push things quite a bit. So uh, if you also like a little bit of the fashion stuff, Sabir is a great person to follow. Uh, then we've got Unyame. He's out in Southern California. And I, I think Unyame, again, he's got darker colors as well. And I really like... He, he's actually brought on a few other people, so you want to check out. It's not just a one-man uh, person anymore, but over at Expressions Aurelia, I've actually done a review of his website. I really like how Unyame brings in history. He does a lot of thrifting. At the same time, he gets into a lot of classic American brands. Okay, so that was a quick run-through. Let me talk about three gentlemen who run websites, which they're not exactly, I mean, they don't put themselves out there, but they talk about style a lot. So you've got Andrew over at Primer. And this is style for the man who's, I would say, from 16 to maybe 36. And Andrew was really putting out a lot of great information. What I love, his latest stuff, is that they put out like an entire wardrobe. It's kind of like, a, if you've ever seen the website, uh, Polyvore, uh, where they take pieces and they put them together. So if you're looking for that type of advice, go check out Primer. Then there is Joe over at Dappert. And Joe is really tearing up. If you are looking for deals on men's style, you need to be on Dappert's RSS feed because Joe, I mean, he puts out, it's got to be like 20 posts a week. And he's always looking for the best deal. So if you're going to do any type of shopping, you need to be on Dappert's RSS list or, um, yeah, just follow that website. Now, if you're looking for classic Midwestern style, there's a couple guys, Brett McKay over at the Art of Manliness, if you like the way I dress if, you know, as you guys know, I write over at The Art of Manliness. And Brett, you just, just follow. I mean, he talks more about this shaving and he talks about his other posts, but you'll see him in videos and some of his presentations he's put out there. But Brett really brings in, the, he's often uh, cited for his, uh, his awesome mustache. And I really like how he brings in vintage pieces. His father was a game warden and he really tries to bring in more of the rugged Southern Midwest Feel. Now, if you're looking for, you know, a Midwest and you're really looking for someone that goes into thrift stores and really brings back time, you know, dressing from like the 1950s and 60s, but he's still a young man, you need to go check out Will over at the Houndstooth Kit. And Will Mole, awesome guy, he's over in Iowa and he focuses in on, like I said, thrift stores and bringing back older looks. But as a younger man, he's uh, able to, you know, bring infuse a little bit of, uh, of modern looks as well. All right, two people who don't post as much anymore, but their archives are still great. Dennis over at Made to Measure New York. 
He's been going off on a lot of music uh, projects lately, but if you go through his archives, I mean, Dennis has such great content. It's well worth visiting his website. Again, Made to Measure New York. And if you are short, small guy, you need to go check out uh, Josh over at Short Shrifted. He hasn't, pu he hasn't published much anymore, but again, his archived content is great. There are so many gems in his older content. You would be re really, if you skip Short Shrifted and this is your body type, you're gonna be missing a lot of great content. Okay, so that sums up a lot of modern men's style icons. I, I think that these guys in the next 20 years are gonna, when people look back at this time period, they're gonna say, these guys were at the forefront and I'm really proud that I can bring them to your attention. And I highly suggest if one of those guys sounded like someone that fits who and appeals to you, then that's who you need to latch on to and learn from. And then once you've developed your own style, then who knows, maybe you'll start publishing yourself. Take care, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.